Right. Gather round, hustle us, that's if you're still living. And get on down with this THC vision. The last of a dying breed, too many whack artists. So tell them for rap or the rapper, niggas. I ain't gonna front. Like a nigga up front and say it's not important to a nigga, but it's like. It's a milestone you want. You, you don't need to get it, but it's a milestone you want to get. Because of course that's something I want. Do I really care about it? I'm not like doing like every step I make. It's like I gotta do this in order. Because you know I gotta get nominated or I need to get that because it's like whatever. But I mean if I got it, that's cool. Everybody want to be a first round draft pick. I'm selected. I'm selected. Um, of course, you know I got my hot trick there ten. It was only right. I had to get there. Then is somebody I feel like. I feel like Ben. Ben was. Ben been that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just niggas don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? But um, once niggas really engage and really listen to my man, shit, they gonna know. It's a reason why I fuck with him. You know uh, ASAP Rocky. Like ASAP Rocky is like you know. A lot of niggas, they might have heard his joint and they might feel less it, but I, I feel like the kid got a lot to work for. And it's, uh, it's, di it's a different approach to oh. from a kid from Harlem. See, he from my part of town, you know what I'm saying? Like, he from 116th between Manhattan and Morningside Avenue, I'm from 119th between Manhattan and Morningside Avenue, you know what I'm saying? So, he only three blocks away, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of his family, like, and I, and listening to his shit and, and talking to him, and, uh, and have him like him explaining to me his angle. You know what I mean? I respect it more and I want the young boy to win. You know what I'm saying? So I like working with him too. Like I'm sure we're gonna do more you know, joints because I'm sure he'll be around for a while. You heard that though, me that I still got my footprints in the sand up in DR. Moyo eating rolls from Foyo at the Malia. Big nigga shit, hope you live it cause we are keeping a buck. No, I keep rolling enough to keep me on stuff. Spaz on the mic like the ran at the rock. Niggas heckling, but I'm still doing my numbers, so fuck them. I ain't tripping, slow niggas trying to play me like I ain't listening. Fucking, um, I don't write, me. I stopped writing since, uh, stopped writing since like 06. And, um, I just feel it's just easier just coming off the top with it. Not really just off the top with, you know, formulating my mind. Uh, I used to write on my sidekick when I had a sidekick. And um, my sidekick, if I ain't paid my bill, I lose all my raps and shit. So uh, I got tired of that. If I lost mad songs, fucking with the sidekick. And then, you know, I get in the lab. And, you know, just like you can't find two things that match. You find a pen, no pad. You find a pad, no pen. So I'm just like, man, fuck it. So I just start just formulating it in my mind. Smoke Desert of Kush God, I'm here at Rap Relapse. Don't relapse, be Rolling Stone. Right. Once upon a time on the cone, there was a pimp, there was a player, sharp as a razor with alligators. Once upon a time on the cone, there was a trick that paid to play, that always came but never stayed. Once upon a time on the cone. There was a hoe that always chose to get the high. She took the lows. Once upon a time on the cone, there was a baller, shot caller, and baby mama.